four degree below flow. What's the new dog you gonna be talking about under the tundra? The glacier, the iceberg tips. Check it, yo. Fizz is chillin', buff is chillin'. What more can I say? Hot penguin, that's what you get. Got it good. Four degree below flow, rock the hook. Right five degree below flow, rock the hood. Ten degree below flow. Landed in the falls in the disco. Um, for the first time, in this particular uh, history, you know what I'm saying, you have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of scientists. Everybody's creating shit now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's doing You got all these new startups, new technologies. And things like that. that was another good thing I saw. Own businesses. You like you do. You have time to do your thing. Right, like the millennials, uh, they have a different state of mind. So they like instead of just working for a big corporation, let me just start my own. You know what I'm saying? That's a good thing. The dual side of blade, I think, will. The bad side of that blade is only gonna hurt people that's stuck in slave-minded patterns. But the 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 the, uh, the side of that blade which you speak of is um, the fact that you're doing it to yourself. We're doing it to ourselves. We're the ones building the technology. We're screwing ourselves. Well, I, mm, me as a person that have put, like, I made myself know that jobs is like sub-level shit. So, losing a job, that don't really pull at my heartstrings much at all. I'm already, I'm already against that. So it, that's not hurting me. The things you telling me to get over jobs, I would just like if the, uh, jobs make money for you. You need money to do things. Yeah. I would rather do those things myself from my own business. I'm older. From my own business point of view, I'd rather do those type right. of things, make my own money, make yeah, stuff right. for my right. own. Well, how are you gonna make money if 120 uh, 20 million people in America are now unemployed? What are your chances of keeping, you know, keeping that sustained, that sustainment of, you know, you have enough income coming in right now to sustain you, but now you got 120 million people who are out of work because the technology has gotten so sophisticated they're not needed anymore. Not to mention holograms are coming to you. You've seen the Tupac hologram and, the, and all these other things. You know, what I'm that's another technology that's going to be taking jobs. That brings me to my, my solution as you was talking was bartering. They would have to break down to bartering. So basically what you're saying to me is the money's gone, so the job's gone, the money's gone, I've adjusted to that as well. I'm, I'm, I'll be, I think those things would be better for us spiritually. Huh? Not, uh, not if the... Maybe not at first. Not, not if the structure of the, uh, of the, um, of the society, if it's structured the way it is where, okay, so 120 million people don't have jobs, but who's in control of all the food and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Difference between facts and truth. That, that what you stated is a fact. But those are man-made things. In really, really real life, we can survive without that particular structure. Man, you can. Not, 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 you no, know, no, we're not, not your normal person. Not your normal person. Your normal person who's been working every day. They have the ability to. Uh, they do have the ability to. They have. But they've been li living a certain lifestyle they used to. I mean, there's people living with air conditioners in their houses and stuff like that. We can't stand the heat. And many of those people didn't have an air conditioner. Half of them would die because of the way they, their lifestyle and stuff like that. There's a lot of things that people do they, they won't be willing to live without. I love everyone, but <laughs> evolution must happen. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You gotta kinda, you know what I mean? If you cling to disease, you're gonna keep the disease. You know, that's my answer to that right there. Yeah. So if you cling to fleshly thinking ways, then you're gonna go the fleshly way. Mm -hmm. And if the ways become more spiritual, you're gonna fall off. Like flesh falls off, you know, you're gonna fall off. So going back to the spiritual side, all these things lead to, like we, we don't have to do petty shit no more. <laughs> to me, now I have time and if money's not a prop, like if enough people, this is what I'm saying, if enough people get like-minded enough, then like that bartering system would work. Okay, okay, we we not we don't got no money and everything, but we we still have this is such and such a resources to make it. 
with my man, you know, got over here, all of a sudden people start getting to know each other and what they can produce for each other. You got a community, you bar you know what I mean? Things can work out, but if technology is that good. You can just be like your own printing up shit. <laughs> your blah 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 printing up shit. Come yeah. on. You, like there's a lot you can do you can well, a lot of people, everybody be pretty much self-sufficient, but, you know, um, it's not going to be for you. It's not, it's not, it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of, you it's know. It's going to be a period. Yeah, there's going to be a period in it where, you know, it's going to be like the hump. <laughs> 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 I'm serious. Yo, that's when I'm going to phase to a cave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. You got that with this shit. You ain't doing this dumb, dumb shit. Yeah, but it is, but the dumb shit is the most abundant shit at this point. And that's only a piece of it. I mean, that's only one thing you have to deal with. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're still, you're still dealing with all your social ills. You know what I'm saying? Now, they are just people out of work, but you still have to deal with all these social ills that we have now. You know what I'm saying? You definitely you still have to deal with that. And we're, talking, and we're talking not right this minute. And I use numbers from this minute. We're talking 30 years, 20, 30 years from now. The numbers will be higher. There'll be 9 billion people on the planet. I'll tell you this much. And then we're not just talking about here, we're talking about the planet. We're all right. We're all right. You know, so unless you live in a third world country where you, you're used to going out to get water and you, you, know, that, you, know, you have your bathroom outside. I mean, you'll be, you're going to be all right. You, you, don't, you don't rely on technology as much as we do over here. You know what I'm saying? The hardships you're talking about will, they might not even be a hardship if people's minds can just wrap, adjust. People can sit back and adjust. A lot of people's minds will have, well, you know, a lot of people' perception of all the doom and gloom of this period we're talking about, it won't happen if people's mind is right. You know what I'm saying? They'll get right to the right spot. So, my thinking on the good foot for that is, about seven years ago, it w wasn't hardly as easy for people to think. Yes, I'm a man. I have a penis, but tomorrow. I'm going to be a female, I'm going to have a breast and a vagina. Not trying to get into that whole pocket, but it's like that's a big mental adjustment. And if people are able to do that in the scope of seven years, you know what I mean? In seven years, like the way people behave today, that's a big mental change from seven years ago. So what I'm saying is we have the capability to change, to adjust mentally. You know what I'm saying? We have the ability to adjust mentally. You, you do, but you gotta always remember we are, we are um, a conquered people, and we we are socially engineered. None of us are who we really are. You know what I'm saying? We're 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 more or less what we've conformed to. Most people, I, I understand. Well, you you exist in a society. You know what I'm saying? that you and you have to sort of conform in order to survive it. You know what I'm saying? I mean you, you gotta work you gotta you gotta you have use to deal money, with right? that. You have to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. In this so, reality. In this reality. So the majority all of us aren't who we're really supposed to be in a sense. You know, we 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 you know we're socially engineered, you know what I'm saying? We we work as slaves, you know what I'm saying? It's like you think about a you know a person of wealth, you know, they don't have to get up at a certain time in the morning and do all these things and stuff, you know. I do have to account for that. You know, I, they, I, they I, jump I from one country, they go, they go wherever they want, at any time they want, they have big, luxurious houses, people serving them and stuff like that. They, their, their thought pattern, their thoughts about life are totally different from ours because we're, we're the constant, you know, um, rat race in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make ends meet, trying to bring out information, you know, and that, them, they're living the life of Larry. You know what I'm saying? That's they're rich. You can, Speak on them two twins you were talking about before, like yeah, that's that right yeah, there. Yeah, that's that right there. Yeah, they're gonna be less stressed, a uh, uh, more. I don't. It's not necessarily a more natural environment, but it's a less stressful environment, and it's gonna bear difference. Yeah. At the as time. I'm not saying that they're happy, but you know what I'm saying. They're still they, in a better environment. They're not yeah. struggling for petty. Yeah. And the necessities that we should be able to pick off trees, eat. Shouldn't be stressing about they're, food. They're, they're stressing over, oh man, they make the acquisition, or, you know what I'm saying? They didn't kill those 30,000 30, people, man. You know I mean? I gotta pay them all. <laughs> they're in an environment to, to where they, uh, they have more options to be healthy if they choose to do so. They're not worried about 
survival and survive survivalist issues. But the technology. Oh, even the I may, am I too much of an optimist? But <laughs> because everything you said is gonna hurt for a little while, but at the end of the day I think it could be made to serve us. I think the problem becomes is when we serve it. Well, you know, you know, you gotta remember we're not we're not at the uh, we're not driving this car. Someone else is driving this car. That's why we're in the situation we are now. I mean, look at all the cameras all over the place. So everything's changed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can't even go walk into a place and get a job anymore. You gotta go online. You know what I'm saying? And that just ruins everything. Cause I'm the type of individual I love to walk in, shake hands, see me for who I am, feel my energy, you right. know, base me on my humanness. You know what I'm saying? Nah, now I'm virtual, online, you, you know, there's no connection really, you know what I'm saying, no human connection, there's just, you know, text and, you know, you can, you know, everything is pretty much uh, subjective, you know what I'm saying? I agree. So, you know, that's, I didn't do that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was here when I got, when I got here, you know, I mean, it, it, so I seen it come in, it slowly creeped in, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, for the most part, all this stuff was here when I got here, you know what I'm saying? I didn't create nothing. I agree. Create. You ever heard a Jamaican song? Life is what you make it. Oh, yeah. I know that. That, okay. Life is what you make it. So that's shit. Is that, I guess what I'm trying to do is, like, you're absolutely right. And if we stay on that subject, it's just going to hurt my heart because it's absolutely right if we don't change that. Right. I think a good way to look at it, my experience shows to where I make my life more <laughs> pleasure both to live, is when you just look at those things as elements and you're the creator and yeah they want you to be slave, yeah they want you to, they want this, but if you look at things as just elements and certain things are resources for you, some things may be resources like uh, things you, that are against you, and you can survey all of that, assess all of that, take the elements that you can use to create a life for yourself. And when you look at it, like this, that takes a lot of belief. No, not really. It takes an average amount of belief in yourself, but that average amount of belief in yourself has been crushed by the, the slave thing you're talking about. So I guess what I'm saying is we have to, if you break the slave, the slave shit won't hurt. Happening. Yes, shit won't hurt. Shit won't hurt so bad, but it look like, man. Yeah, this is this is how I realized it when I when I that this was my my first one of my first original thoughts was I looked around and I said to myself, why is life the way it is? I mean, look around. The birds have food. The squirrels have food. They got trees. They they, they got homes. Everything's there for the natural. You know what I'm saying? And here we are. We have to struggle for everything. Everything's like. You know, you have to you have to become an indentured servant for for years if you want to own anything. You know. Do you? Do I own it? No. No. Well, I guess the first half of that sentence. Do you have to become an indentured servant? Um, to a certain extent. To a certain extent. I mean, as a man that has camped in the mountains for a month and a half, you do not. That's a choice. There's, there's, and, you know, that's the extreme measure to like to get that off me. And it's not really extreme. In fact, it was connecting with nature. So it's the most average thing you could do. Average is not. But from that perspective, it's extreme. You're saying, but flipping it back, having that knowledge, it's, it's a choice to say that I have to be in a dentist. Yeah, it is. I mean, have you ever been in a situation where you just had to do what you had to do to feed the family? Yes, it's always that situation. I mean, that's, that's, it's that's, always that's that situation. I'm, that's what I'm referring to. For that particular moment, you became an indentured servant. You give it to. You had to do something that you didn't want to do or didn't like, but you had to make ends meet. You needed that the necessity. I'm gonna retract my statement. Okay. I chose to. I chose certain things, and the, and the mere fact that. Well, for me, I guess I should explain something. Did you choose them? Did you choose them, or were you compelled to choose them because I of was, your circumstances? There was a compelled. That definitely was the. Yeah, I would not do it. There's a degree of bend. Yeah. There's a degree that's of bend. That's, that's what but I'm, what I'm saying is, I didn't have to do that, and I still, if I put my mind to it. Didn't you say you were going to get me something to eat? My bad. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh,
degree below flow. What's the new York New York? We're talking about under the tundra. The glacier, the iceberg tips. Yo, Fizz is chillin', Buff is chillin', what more can I say? Hot penguin, that's what you get, got it good. Four degree below flow, rock the hood, right? Five degree below flow, rock the hood, ten degree below flow. Landed in the falls in the disco decade.